Asante sana for joining us for another classic episode of the Wicked Edition. I'm your host, Dr. Kingori. We have a great show lined up for you. But first, Ebu, please allow me to show you something before we start. Kuna hii video nikutana nao kwa Twitter. Ilikuwa shared by Cyprian Nyakundi. In the context of church, actually, women have always been on the receiving end about how Eve, uh, you know Eve, Mrs. Adams, indio? Uh, how he handled, uh, how she handled the forbidden fruit. Sasa kuna hii video, how dramatic a man handled a fruit in the presence of the Lord. Whatever you are doing over there, which is not bearing fruit, now with this fruit, it will begin to bear fruit. Look, look, look. Which brethren, what is happening to the gentleman? The moment he got this Stop. fruit. Stop. Stop in Jesus' name. Imagine if that's how you had to find out Mzai Wako anajiwa karate, Mazi. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> I know the video is independently funny, but Sijui kwa nini lideshika beyond. Uh, maybe it's because um, machungwa is the last fruit nili imagine. Mubaba zana ezapewa achanga mke hiyo design. <laughs> <laughs> now we have uh, so much to cover. Since the last time we had a monologue on the show, uh, the Africa Climate Summit just ended. And one of the highlights has to be President Ruto driving himself in an electric vehicle from State House to KICC. Maze. Those who doubted President Ruto when he said he is in charge. Video into you. Mas a lá fazer o make sure me pegar tudo vídeo a caribu, vídeo a caribu. A cuco na drone shots com o vídeo. Eu acho que a gente vai ter que fazer. Mas é a só na cena de que está candidato na macarão. But as in that is a true show of power. On a serious note, Lakini, that was symbolic and a show of solidarity with clean energy during the, uh, uh, the Africa Climate uh, Summit. Alafu, Honorable Peter Salasia, due your story, alingi alikuwa deep fried for days, due your interview. Mashima, welcome to SPM Maybe you can tell us what is happening today at KCC. Uh, okay, uh, okay we, as we all are aware is that um, uh, it's uh, climate change, yeah, right? Because you feel like... Um, uh, by the way, climate change is real because of the global warming. Uh, I think I was in Mombasa last week and it was so cold. So I asked them, what's that happening? I think what I hate, but personally, I feel Salasia Kotusa. And I understand Chenyana Sema. I get climate change, desert. I love Kenyans, I don't double standards. sana. Because I don't know if Salasia and Ulems are the gods, must be crazy. <laughs> na kianza kuambia anaelewa man, kwa sababu kumekauka na ni mse wa desert amtaki kuamini msema <coughs> mko na asira mob sana mzee aliingizwa kukini kwa kuni i feel he had an idea of what he was talking about and he knows what climate change uh, is uh, alafu kama kuna mtu ana, ana, anajua anajua na anaweza kuwa anaelewa madhara ya kukata miti ni mheshi vile nimesema personally Mimi najua, climate, nilijua climate change is real when the Africa Climate Change Summit ilifanya wa Kenya wa move on from ile studi ya mambo ni matatu eh, to Peter Salasia. Now by the way, President Ruto has been sued by the Operation Linda Jamii um, crew, uh, our organization, because they want the head, the head of state to withdraw that statement and apologize. Ama prepare uh, for impeachment. Nikama mwambia ye kwake mambo ni mawili. And then, the president, <laughs> president amekuwa manayo statement yake. In fact, alisema, alisema tena kwa climate change conference, na bado akambia wezi wa ngombe hivo. Kama wewe ni mwizi ya ngombe, mambo ni matatu. Uhame Kenya, uende jela, ama usabili uende mbinguni. Hakuna manayo ngini. Lakini manayo haba ya kuzungukana haba ati utalete hiyo kezirani, hakuna. It's as simple as that. Kama kila muizi ya nambuwa ente mpinguni. Sisi ukuwa wapo wa ndiyo nini. Unaunderstand? 
like eh maze, mtu ama, ama binguni na kuanga kuimba ama kuiba milele unajua <laughs> Eh yeah, mazi. Alafu kumbe hiyo siku president alimekio speech ya uh, the first time uh, he made your speech ya uh, mambo ni matatu mli hata the juiciest part where the president finish his speech uh, haraka to save marriages. Kwa sababu imekuwa jioni. Si ndio? Na mimi sitaki mtu bibi ya mtu atoke hapa alafu asemekane alikuwa kwa mkutano yangu alafu mambo ikafanyika. So acha nimalize haraka. Rigiji pia ameka na story yake ya mambo ni matatu. Mmeona ya Rigiji? Ana essay 2023 mabone rami kahawa majani chai na maziwa Show ya leo maze ni moto sana. Show ya leo tunikali nikali our guest for this episode qualified a very interesting statement when I first met him kwa video shoot ya Juliani. The video is set to come out soon. Simpigie makofi Vixen. Eh manze amekuja kumekshua kila mtu amedunga vile inafaa and uh, he had a very interesting slogan at there's a difference between dressing up and putting on clothes and, uh, episode yale ita, ita to show mahali ita kushow we personally mali unachezea because Thomas Kaberi is in the house Eh hey, mazi asante we'll be talking to him in a bit but kwanza uh, the Kenya police wameongezwa mshahara as promised but not as much as expected junior police officers wameongezwa salo ya thao mmesikia Eh hey, mazi i think which i think is that breaking how does the government hope to fight corruption kama wao ndio wanapea police kitu kidogo <laughs> Eh and speaking of the disciplined forces KDF wamefanya recruitment juzi and you know the exercise where they conduct once uh, in a while every once in a while Uh, to separate the boys from men and girls from uh, uh, brave women na hakuna kitu imenibamba kwa hiyo recruitment ya this time kama explanation ya kwa nini mtu hezi join KDF kama wewe ni stammer someone else is asking um, why don't you recruit people who stammer <laughs> I'm getting all kinds of questions here. Again, this is very competitive. Yes. And uh, you know, people who stammer they don't do it uh, out of own volition, but again it's competitive. Yeah. And again also Jeff, um the kind of uh, this career, it's not a job like any other. It requires very good communication if that were possible. Okay. If that is not manageable, is I mean, the stammering is such that it cannot be managed, then that means and i have to you know instruct you to do something mm. then i think i you ought to be a good communicator with all due respect as it me jua jeshi ni vita manzi jeshi ni vita eh jeshi kwa mtu mtu ana mnakosaje kupea stamara job mimi siko convinced mnakosaje kupea stamara job kwa nani anaenda kuongea na maadui unajua eh as in come to think of it unajua kama ni makarao wanasema hawezi employ wa seju ni seju ni stamara unaweza understand juu unaweza kuwa offensive ukikutana na karao stamara alafu mwambie afande watu ni kuongea unajua <laughs> Mimi mimi sijakuwa convinced na hiyo point ya good communicator unless mimi peke yangu uh, nimeishi kujua orders kwa parade ya jeshi utolewa na stammerers. Amo amwezi tuambia stammer aezi fanya hivyo. Alafu pia uh, Meru governor mazee wa Meru mazee. Hey, governor wenu anapenda hazi yake. Eh, Meru governor Kawira Mwangaza was recently on the spot again for naming a road after her husband Burega Baisho. Mmesikia story? Eh, governor nimetebelea bwana yako. Ni, ni barabara. <laughs> ah bibi yake analala uh, bwana yake analala nje kama barabara. I don't know. Uh, what what's the problem? What's the problem na wasi wa Meru as in kama anapenda hazi yake? And I think I checked her Facebook page. Hii story ilitoka news from her Facebook page na wasi walikuwa wanasema wanaenda inaitwaje at ya melonch. Watu wamefocus tu na amelonch barabara na meinema after hazi yake na she has very many other projects. Hiyo ni mingi tu achievements zake kwa barabara. As si kwa barabara, hiyo post achievements zake. Sasa hiyo moja ndio wasi wanakimbia nayo. <coughs> kuna pia story ya kuna Prado Uh, ilianguka kwa ditch alafu makarao wakienda kuangalia wakapata iko na bank ya 9.5 million alafu wameandika hapo Prado ni high end car as in i know that's a <laughs> that's a low blow but i think uh, that's a story ni developing bado will bring you more when you know about that kwa sababu tunafaa tushikanishie na story ya Madhe Wangara otherwise we have a great show lined up for you don't wanna miss the vibes for anything see you on the other end of this short commercial break
Angusha Kotroli kila wiki na ka4. Chicken Milo active at only 4.99, can chick choma sausage at 1.89, fresh chicken leg at 5.19 na potato loose at only 55 shillings. Angusha Kotroli na ka4. And we need two Royco cubes because iron gives you strength to skuma yourself to be the best you can be. Sukuma na Royco, kula sukuma na Royco, sukuma wiki na Royco. Show off your best skin with Nivea Nourishing Cocoa Body Lotion. Now with 5-in-1 Complete Care. The deeply nourishing formula prevents your skin from drying with precious cocoa butter and deep moisture for smooth and healthy looking skin. Step out in confidence with our most complete care from the world's number one skincare brand. Okay, okay, a bit closer, yeah. Excuse me. Could you take a picture? Mm. This is my phone. No, Concentrate. One, it is four times more concentrated. Two, it is packed with four times more fragrance. Three, one bottle gives you 40 washes. You stay soft, Adric Concentrate. Also available in convenient sachets. <laughs> Welcome back to the Wicked Edition. I'm your host, Dr. Kingori. Episode ya leo, acha ni anzina summary yake ni um, there's a difference between dressing up and putting on clothes. So, my experience is, uh, and I know, mumai kutana nayo, mumai kutana mse alafa akafanya ufili ni kama uko uchi. Na uru kumepiga luku yako moto kabisa, sindio? Aya. So, nilikuwa, uh, by the kwanza ibu ni pigieni makofi, mini vixen kwa ngoma ya Juliani mazi. Eh man, good vibe. Eh. Eh. Julian alini invite kwa ngoma yake inaitwa Total Man. I believe the video should be coming out soon. So nikaenda nikapiga. Ushaona nilikuwa na look fulani na kuanga nime set. Najua hiyo ni ya event. Basi sasa Julian amenini call nikasema nitaenda nayo kwa hiyo event. So nitaenda nayo kwa shughuli ya Julian. Alafu nikakutana na guest wetu wa leo. Akatoanisha hizo vitu zote nilikuwa nimevaa, akanivalisha vitu zake. But the sad thing, kitu lini boni ati I agreed with him. <laughs> Thomas Kaberi is in the house. <laughs> Thanks, for sana. Thanks for having me. Thanks karibu, for having karibu. me. Karibu, Thank yeah. you for making time for us. Anytime. Difference between dressing up and putting on clothes. Yeah. Na after your statement, uli sindikiza na matusi. <laughs> Ukasema, uh, that's the difference Gani. between Gani. Congolese and the Sudanese. <laughs> Misi kusema hizo vitu. Mimi najua mimi napenda ku travel. Kwa hivyo nataka mm. kuongea na wase about wase countries au popo. Sawa, basi ni mimi nilisema. Eh, hey, wewe ndio ulisema your story. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference between dressing up and putting on clothes? One word, intentionality. So you have to be intentional about zile vitu unavaa. The intention is not to be naked. What are the intentions? <laughs> you have you have to kuna ile book inaitwa begin with why, right? Mm -hmm. You have to to think about why are you putting what putting on what you're putting on. Yes. Yeah, what what's the message you want to to pass along? Kwa sababu dress code ni code, vile watu wanasema ni code. Yes. It is a code that's sending a message. Mm -hmm. And whether you like it or not, people are receiving that code and interpreting it in very many different ways. Okay. So the difference between putting on clothes and dressing up is that intentionality of being of, of being deliberate about okay. the message you you want to send okay. with your dress code. Okay. Yeah. Wote unavaa lazima uko una send message to who? Actually it's not just at the point unavaa kwa sababu ikifika hiyo point yenye unavaa it's a bit too late. Yeah, kwa sababu you should be intentional even around your wardrobe. Wakati unanunua nguo you should be intentional about hiki kitu ninanunua ndio ndio nifanye nini na you understand? Eh, sisi wote tulikuwa gana na zile kabati za wageni. Unakumbuka zile vitu za, vile vyombo za wageni? Nguo za Sunday. Yeah, na nguo za Sunday. So, 
those people when they are uki, uki buy dish set kwa hao yako you always thinking about i plate school end up in a buy ndio school end up kwa wageni ni ni wasao na si wageni wote unajua kuna you understand okay. kuna zile plate okay. zenye una buy unajua ina buy juu mtoi wangu eh ateza fumble nayo ateza iteza anguka any time kwa hivyo hiyo ndio ina decide zile qualities una consider ku buy kitu the same thing with our dressing okay. so at the point of building a wardrobe that's where intentionality starts kwa sababu kama ni asubuhi unaenda job unajua they say that uh, madem wakisema i don't i don't have anything to wear na madem wakisema i don't have anything to wear they mean two different things eh eh madem wakisema i don't have anything to wear they mean i don't have anything new to wear na machali ni amefua i don't have anything clean to wear wana leave out your part but by the time you're getting there it means that uh, there is an underlying issue you are not deliberate about generally what you want to to communicate with what with how you dress generally because it's also not about how you dress one day it's also about how you consistently dress that people stitch the message together right so kuna wale majamu unajua uje mtu anakaga poa hata unokuuliza kwa nini you actually can't put a finger on it uje mtu anakaga poa but those those guys unajua uje mtu anakoga na via tupoa understand so it's about that consistent ukimuuliza na jeans zake ai baadhi hata sije angalia jeans zake poa lakini viatu zake ziko poa understand so viatu poa si viatu mpya <laughs> obviously viatu poa si viatu mpya okay na viatu poa si viatu expensive also yeah okay yeah of course kuna a direct correlation between things of high quality they are likely to be pricier but just because something is pricier does not mean it's 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 high quality because okay. people things can be expensive for very many different reasons okay. including the shop that you're se- you're selling them at yeah so you can find dif- the exact same product in different shops at different prices okay. but uh, also it means that uh, some there are things also that are just expensive because of the brand does not mean the quality is high it's just that uh, whoever sells those shoes has invested in a brand the brand of the shop or the brand of the shoe or the brand of the, so they mark up on the brand but it does not necessarily mean that that high that that particular item is high quality in fact the things that shout very loud are usually not uh, the highest quality of items oh really yeah. and i think this comes from uh, people who've been who've been inspired to start wearing t-shirts because mark zuckerberg and vanga t-shirt na jeans <laughs> okay so first of all uh, where was mark zuckerberg secondly <laughs> 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 Secondly, Mark Zuckerberg is very intentional. When he puts on a t-shirt, he's very intentional in the sense that he's sending a certain message with the way he dresses up. So, si ati ningua na kwa amekosa. Hata hiyo story anatupeaga sijui ati I want to save time, sijui I don't want to, to decide what to wear. Hiyo ni story. The real reason is because he wants to send a message with the way he dresses, meaning that he wants to look like the guy next door because he runs a social network. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what he does. That's what that's that's what he does. That's what he does. So he will so wear I can't send a message with a t-shirt because I don't If he wears a suit network. and he runs a social network, it does not it does not add up. Okay. You understand? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So but so he's very deliberate about how he dresses. Okay. So and and you will see he, he just wants to be like the simple guy next door. That's that's the message he's sending. I'm just I'm just your guy. You mentioned dress code. Yeah. And part of what you mentioned as dress code is at the reason why rich people wakisalimiana hivi at they pat someone on the back ni kusikia kama you are wearing a cheap suit. As in <laughs> <laughs> I never said that but but I think I, I think I hear what you're saying. The idea of of like fabrics is like is is like a very strong code in people in what you wear. Okay. understand yes. so in fact if you if you are if you are if you, if you if you're big on dressing up you should think about three things when you're dressing up uh, fabric fit and function of whatever you're wearing fabric fit and, and function. function especially for yeah so yeah mambo ni matatu fabric fit and function uh-huh. so what that means first of all think about the function like Of course you could be going to a function so you think about the actual function that you're going to but yes. also you could think about why am I wearing these clothes the why is very important just the way you think about if I'm going to to a shamba I wear an overall and gumboots right and that's the function of that overall the that informs the fabric of that overall right yes, yes. it even informs the fit of that overall because wezi ndo uko na skin tight na unaenda kulima 
You understand? Even if it's an overall, you always kuwa tight at ulipeleka kwa fundi akafinya. Hakuna anga overall fitting. Hizo <laughs> tunza music video. Okay. Uh -huh. Siza shamba. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, so the exact same thing you, you can you can apply to how you dress. I would like us to do a more practical bit. Uh, we have a few volunteers from our audience. Uh, wakuje uh, tuangalie first of all the crimes they are guilty of uh, <laughs> fashion wise so we'll do this uh, real quick uh, our volunteers them volunteers wakuje uh, please judge my expertise in terms of looking at someone and throwing a first impression yes this is godi mm -hmm. uh, looking at godi i would judge uh, this look as someone who's not who does not believe in marriage <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> How accurate is my observation? <laughs> but uh, that's uh, that's a big one. Uh -huh. So the the idea is not to first of all classifying people in group in big groups is mm -hmm. quite dangerous. Eh? Yes. Yeah. To just decide everything about a person based on one thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's that's just actually dangerous, and it's a, it's a mistake that a lot of people do even when they're dressing up. They yes. think that if I wear this jacket or if I wear these shoes or if I wear this trouser, eh, it will it will compensate. You understand? So the idea is to make sure that it is the whole consistent uh, look. It's you know, oh. it's it's not one particular item that yes, makes yes. or breaks. It's it is that consistent look and what each piece does for the whole look. As in, uh, you can look at him. Let's say if you meet him tomorrow, there's something about how he dresses that Nasema. Uh, if you meet him, Akiwa may change kidogo. You'll be like, ah, isongo azikukai. That's what you mean. Ama. Uh, this is your style. There is elements that still stick with every day. Yeah. That so your brand, how you present yourself. Yeah. So consistently, a lot has to do with patterns and colors. By the way. Okay. So there, you you find there are certain people who like very like like myself for example, plain or striped or simple simple patterns. It's either plain or striped or or checked just very simple patterns there are people and if you look at them they look like you can see them from the moon yes, yes yeah yes. they have multiple colors there there's a certain governor used to be of a certain big city i want to mention his name yes like you can see him from the moon yeah <laughs> the way he dresses yeah and that's just his style yeah. yeah but but and maybe that style is deliberate because it probably speaks to people like he wants to talk to yes i don't know but that is just a style he has decided and he has been so consistent yes. that he probably if you probably see me in a suit in a tie it's like he has broken his pattern okay yeah okay, okay. Ah, yeah. Sawa, sawa. O single, uh yeah so single uh when you looking at him again judge my expertise uh he looks like someone who knows nothing about climate change <laughs> <laughs> Expert opinion. <laughs> so let's have a conversation because, yes. like, sometimes I feel like styling and how people put their look together is such a serious item. It's mm -hmm. such a serious topic, mm -hmm. and it's it's very very important. Yes. And and the temptation is to do exactly what uh, what we are trying to do here to to just take one look at a person and try to to cast that as as the typical thing. If you do that, yes. you're not really helping the person because yes. until people understand the basics and how. Yes everything comes together yes. it really it really doesn't help them to grow because it's a growth item remember i've said yes how you dress up yes is a representation of even how you think and you feel but it's mm -hmm. not your identity it's not you the villa otana semaga mimi ni jamu wa masuti mimi ni msewa jeans na leo mimi ni demo ama huyo huyo anasema yeye ni demo wa maskats avagi hizi vitu ama mimi ni mtu hizi vitu siwezi vaa hiyo kitu okay if wearing that other thing mm -hmm. will help your agenda for a certain for, for a certain period of time why mm -hmm. not you understand mm -hmm. so the idea is to make sure that you're being deliberate and deciding that mm -hmm. if i put on this thing it will yes. serve my purpose better you understand you can say mimi seems so overall sasa ukienda garage utavaa suit yako hauwezi si ndio you understand you can say mimi mimi seems so a gambut sikule utaenda mashamba yako utafanya nini na umeshamwea seems so a gambut the idea is to make sure that you're not wrapping your identity around about how around how you dress first of all that frees your mind to be open to the ideas of being pragmatic and being practical. Okay. What Makofia Thomas? Thank you. Asante sana. What Makofia volunteers wetu? Asante sana. Mnaweza pata nafasi. Eh Tom, uh, 
Hawezi tu transformia msemo mmoja hapa na accessories <laughs> vile ulinifanyia ile time. So hata tuanze na wewe kwanza hapa. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Nilikwambia Kings eh? Just because uko na hizo vifungo zote si lazima uzifunge. Ah. <laughs> eh? yes. So this one should be like. Aka ka mwisho ya kufunga. So naweza katoa. Ah, au sitoe just yeah. because fundi aliweka hapo si lazima uitumie. Yes. Yes. Alafu so, is is it I? So unatafuta makosa. Azi <laughs> sitafuti makosa. Makosa iko si ati ninatafuta. <laughs> Toa 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 makosa sio. Mbona mpaka akanini aka amekosa buttons to press aka aka and ah, 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 so tuone. So, Transform iko sawa iko sawa. It's okay. It's okay. Tunaje ni roller decks. Ati roller decks. Mm. So kings eh? Yes. Uh, I can see why you are doing yellow and uh, and blue. Lakini pia ndeza kusaidia kidogo kidogo tu kusaidia hapo kidogo tu. So you can do you can do other you can take other options of like trying to of, of trying to like uh, accessorize wh what you do. In the sense that uh wait wait at home in tie ya money bed sheet. Wait. Sasa sasa ukutotoa mic tufanye nini? Yeah. So the idea first of all ni to show e tie Ukiekelea tu hapa ina kushow. Kama unaona kama hii contrast ni poa maneno inakaje. Wewe angalia, wewe ndio una judge. Mnaiona hata. Inakaje hivi. Nyesha huko. How do you like it? This contrast. I don't even look at the contrast. I look do you like what at you the, wide, the wideness, the wideness. <laughs> yeah. A, yeah, okay. Actually that's a really good point when it comes to to ties. Eh? Yes. What happens is with with ties, the width of your lapel should largely match the the width of your tie. Yeah? Oh, this okay. lapel. Hii yeah. unono ya hapa yeah. ina five yeah. 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 unono ya. Ukiva slim na kaka kwe slim kidogo. Uh -huh. Yes. Tie sky ni kama imejaa hapa na kaka kitu ka slim. So okay. that's why I told asymmetry and harmony is like really important. Yeah. So the other thing also is is to is to make sure that by the way you should never match your pocket square to your to your tie. To never are you okay, saying that say because never. that's the rule ama because you did not have a matching pocket square because that's the rule just because you bought them together you don't wear i know when you buy a tie you, and a pocket square you can get a set but they are not socks okay <laughs> yeah it does not mean because remember we talked about accessories right yes, yes. so that means that this pocket square is supposed to like accessorize your look you understand and if you're going for as we say the simpler the look the more timeless it is sawa yeah Hakuna makosa ingine. Wewe kwa na accessory ingine. Si makosa. Mbona unasema ni makosa? Yes. No, Wakati ulitoka kwako kama umevaa hivi, si kuna sikia poa. Wapi mako pia Thomas? <laughs> Asante sana. That's it for the weekend edition. See you next week. My name is Dr. Kingori. <laughs>